Welcome to Open Walnut, your one-stop shop for all things cyber, cloud, and automation. Without tutorials and engaging content, we will show you how to protect your resources, leverage the power of the cloud, and automate your way to success. Now let's get it cracking. In this video, we will be discussing Terraform on how to set this up with AWS S3 to ensure that our Terraform state files are saved in the cloud. The requirements to complete this video successfully are having access to AWS console, having access to the S3 service within AWS and the DynamoDB service, and having the AWS CLI installed on your host. Additionally, we would also like to have the latest version of the Terraform CLI available on the host. The first service that we'll be looking at today is the Amazon S3 service. S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. This is a service available within AWS and we can store our objects within this service. However, we have to set up a bucket first. This is similar as a directory and it will be available to us with the cloud. We are going to create a bucket. So we can click on Create Bucket. We will give a bucket name. Click and This bucket name has to be unique within your region. We will ensure that all a we will ensure that ACLs are disabled. We will ensure that block all public access as we don't want our bucket be available to the public. Additionally, we are going to enable bucket versioning. We're going to add a few tags. The first tag will be um, environment, which will be prod. And the second tag will be product, which will be Terraform. We're going to ensure that encryption type is set to S3 manage key. So SSS, e, SSES3 and bucket key is enabled. You're going to click on create bucket. Now that we have completed the AWS S3 service and created the bucket, we can look at DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database where we have key value pairs. We will be storing our Terraform state file version within this database. For more information, please click on the link below. Within the service, we can click on the button Create Table. And we're going to give this a unique name again. So Terraform backend. We require partition key. I'm going to call this lock ID. And we're going to add tags again. I like to keep the same tags that I have used previously. So environment, prod, and product, Terraform. The next thing will be create table. As we can see within the status, we see that the table is creating. Now that we have configured our AWS DynamoDB service, we will be opening our IDE of choice. We will be creating a config file ending with TF. We will be inserting code in terms of Terraform and we will setting up the backend service to work with AWS S3. Finally, we will confirm that everything that we typed is correct and without it in our console. We create a file which will be config.tf. Within this file, we want to specify a few things. We're going to start off with the Terraform object. So Terraform. And to start off, we will have to have the required version. So required version. We have to have the required providers. It's going to be AWS for us since we're going to use AWS and we want to make this into an object as well. We have to give the source, which is going to be HashiCorp AWS. And we need to give the version of this source so version equals to Bigger than 4.41.0, that's the latest version right now. 
At this point, we can go to the bottom of the required power fighters object and click enter. One more enter, and we can type in backend. I'm going to say this is in S3. Uh, within this, we need the bucket name. So let's start out by typing that. We call this Terraform backend. Open Walnut. We require to give it a key. A key is pretty much your file name that is going to be created. So this has to be ending with a tf.state. So that will be for us key. So we call it backend.tf state. We require the region where this bucket is located. So that will be US East 1. Now let's uh, go look up all these. Within S3, we can see we have the TF backend bucket. We can go to properties. And we can see that the region as well as the ARN of the bucket. Our bucket is TF backend open walnut. Now we can go back to our IDE. We want to specify that encrypt equals true as we enabled encryption as well. We do not need to add this. A true should be enough. Now we have to specify our Dynamo DB table. So Dynamo. which was called TF backend. Let's go and I'm gonna navigate to the Dynamo DB service within AWS console. We will click on tables and we can see that this table that we created is active now and we have a partition key. Confirming that's correct. Everything else looks good. We're going to click file, save file. Do a little bit of cleanup. There we go. Control save. And now we can go to our terminal. Before we initiate this uh, Terraform file, we want to ensure that we have set up the AWS CLI access. Uh, to confirm this, we're going to type in AWS configure list and we can see that a profile was set up uh, we have an access key we have a secret and we have the region i do an ls we can see that we have a config.tf let's cat this uh, conf this file so the config file we confirm that we have all of the input that we earlier provided into the file and it's here now we can use Terraform, but before we start, we want to ensure that Terraform is installed. So we can very easily check what version Terraform is running. So Terraform dash dash version. And we can see Terraform is installed on our system and we have the version 1.39. Now let's try to initiate the backend Terraform init. We can see that Terraform is installing the HashiCorp AWS version 4.41. It is signed by HashiCorp and we have a lock file right now. And we have a confirmation that our backend is successfully initialized and that we are using right now the S3 bucket to save our state file. Thank you for coming and if you have any questions, please feel free to, feel free to comment uh, on the video below.